Hi. Now, what I've got here is a follow-up question to the previous video in this series where I looked at reflecting a complex number in the real axis. So, if you're unsure of how to do this, just go back and check out the previous video, which you should find above this one if you're on my website. So what we've got here is find the complex number that represents a reflection of the complex number z in the real axis where z equals 3 minus 2i all divided by 4 plus 3i. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, either fast forward to check out your answer or I'll take you slowly through each of the steps. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, if you watched the previous video, you would know that we need to find the complex conjugate of z. That represents a reflection of z in the real axis. So if you put z down as 3 minus 2i then, all over 4 plus 3i, when we do a division, we need to multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So you need to multiply top and bottom by 4 minus 3i. And if you do that, you should have something like this. Remember, you're multiplying by 1, so it's not going to change the value of this fraction here. It's just going to change the appearance of it. So if we multiply out the top and the bottom then, you should find you get this result. Just take you through very quickly. 3 times 4 then is the 12. 3 times the minus 3i is minus 9i. Then we go minus 2i times the 4, which is minus 8i. And then minus 2i times another minus 3i is going to be plus 6i squared. But i squared, remember, is negative 1. So it's going to give us minus 6. And when it comes to the denominator, you get 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 times minus 3i is minus 12i. 3i times 4 is plus 12i and 3i times minus 3i, well, that's going to be minus 9i squared. i squared is minus 1, so you end up with plus 9. OK? Now we just simplify top and bottom by grouping together the real and imaginary parts, and you should end up with 12 minus 6 is the 6, and minus 9i minus 8i is minus 17i, and then in the denominator, you just got 16 plus 9, which is the 25. And we can separate this into two parts, two terms, and you'll have 6 25ths minus 17 25ths i. And then from there, we just take the complex conjugate of this complex number, which is going to be 6 25ths plus 17 25ths i. And that represents then a reflection of z in the real axis. So I hope you got that. If not, at least you can see how to do it now. Okay?